think uh, a lot of us were uh, predisposed to want to like James Taylor even before we heard that uh, incredible sound of his guitar. Um, early on, uh, Tom Rush, uh, his I believe it was his No Regrets uh, album, came out with songs by James Taylor, Joni Mitchell, and Jackson Brown long before they had their own albums out. Um, James' first album uh, on Apple was a little bit of a disappointment from my perspective because it was so overproduced. So I wasn't in a hurry to, to run out and, and get Sweet Baby James when it came out. Um, I had this uh, girlfriend whose mom was always a real big supporter of me playing guitar and the music that, that uh, interested me. So um, I, I, showed, I came to her house one night and the mom said, oh, I got a, a present for you. And, and she gave me uh, this album, uh, Sweet Baby James. Uh, back in the day when we used to put our names and dates on them because you'd give them to friends and you'd want to make sure that you could prove it was yours to get it back. Um, so I, I had this other friend and she used to say to me, when in doubt, start with side two. And so uh, I had a little bit of doubt about how I was going to feel about the album. So I started with side two. And uh, that opening lick to uh, Fire and Rain, uh, you know, it was like instant belief. Uh, totally in love with the album. Uh, it was like going on, on a trip somewhere, listening to the whole, the whole thing. So, I, you know, I have a lot of people, they, uh, they say to me, you know, I really want that James Taylor sound. And for me, that sound is his guitar on this album. And what he was using was a J50 Gibson uh, from right around the same year as this one, uh, give or take months, literally. Um, so whenever I hear it, um, for me, I, I, I'm there. And uh, I don't play anything of James Taylor's uh, music uh, at this point in my life, but every time I play this guitar, um, I think of James Taylor, and I, I, I can hear that that uh, in my head, even if it's like... It just doesn't matter. Um, this guitar, this Gibson J50 from around 64, 65, um, is everything I ever needed to know sonically about the music of James Taylor. Uh, Brian from AcousticMusic.org, Guitars for Trade. Check out our website. Give us a call if you want to uh, trade one of your guitars. We're always looking for uh, trades. Thank you.